Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the weekend vlog. I wanna show you guys my outfit because I absolutely love it. It's this little hurricane outfit. I wore this during Hurricane Ian, but I'm obsessed with it and I'm gonna wear it out to do some errands right now. I also have a Halloween party, which is going to be quite fun. I'm dressing up as Mario. Yeah, I'm gonna go run some errands at the grocery store and then Starbucks, cause I'm gonna bring home Sherry a little sandwich she wants. It's almost lunchtime, so I'm gonna have that for lunch as well. And we're just gonna get the day on the road. I slept in today because I've just been so tired. <laughs> it's also about that time of the month, so I'm just, I could just stay in bed all day, but you can't do that. I am gonna get on the road now. Another thing that makes a celebration so fun to live in is, well, seeing all the decorations during the holidays, it's always fun, but also, like I saw this uh, couple on their bike taking a morning bike ride and there's like a jogger now, which is like really cool. So I don't know, it's just more like very community-esque and it's nice to see because I don't know, just cute, you know? <laughs> okay, also too, I wanted to tell you that I almost hit a deer on the bridge road. So as you guys know, like, there's this bridge. If you follow me on Instagram, it was like the picture I used to announce like the move. So I was on this road and oh my gosh, like it was crazy. I was like switching. Oh, I was finding the podcast I listened to and I was like pressing play and then just like a bam, a deer. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I like obviously slammed on the brakes and honked my horn like as long as possible. And that thing like sped off so fast. I'm like, yeah, you better run because there's no way I'm hitting a deer this morning but also terrifying at the same time. I think I'm gonna grab these for the party tonight, um, just so I'm like taking something, I don't know. Everyone likes these cookies. I mean, well, if you don't, then well, I don't know what to tell you, but I like them, so I'm gonna get them. Now I'm just looking for some wine to take because, I don't know, vodka just like upsets my stomach half the time. And luckily they have this like fun key, so it kind of tells you what the wines are like. Um, so I'll end up showing you guys what I end up on or choose. We've got most of the list because it's like veggies and stuff, but let's see what I end up with. Got the Starbucks. I got Sherry her bacon Gouda sandwich and I got an iced coffee. And this time they put way too much almond milk and I had to ask for more coffee. And that hasn't happened in so long. It's still too light. Like, I don't know who, guys. I, you don't need to like have a lot of education to know iced coffee shouldn't be this light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, I was like, oh, can they put a little too much almond milk? Like, look at this. It's supposed to be a dark, I don't know. I go off of color. Like if something looks too light or too dark, I say something and I don't, I'm not even trained in this. Yes, I put extra splash of almond milk in my order. But that doesn't mean I want the entire thing to be almond milk. You know what I'm saying? And I put extra because they were putting too little for so long. Like now I have to do just regular. And I changed it to almond milk because I do like almond milk. So if this were the case to have happen, like it's fine because I don't mind it. But still, like this is way too light for iced coffee, even like the girl, like, I don't know. I just, it's been a while since they've disappointed me, like disappointed me like this. So I wasn't gonna make a big deal about it. And my mom got me that for me, so it's fine. It tastes fine, but it's just like, wait, what? What's going on here? And I do have some coffee at home that I can maybe put a little bit more just to like make it more coffee-esque, but still like what's going on? All right, I know you guys were all really concerned. I fixed the coffee. Um, yep, she's looking a little better because I just added my own coffee. I just added this in there, so it's okay. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got at the grocery store, a little grocery haul here. Don't mind, Sherry's just watching the Ohio State football game. Okay, I'm gonna have lunch pretty soon too. Okay, so first we got the turkey. We got some lettuce, celery. We got the green pepper and we got some cucumber. Next up, as you know, I got these cookies to take to the party tonight. Y'all, when they pack these bags, they're like so rough with the items. Okay, five hour energy for Valerie. This is kind of like her espresso in the mornings. We got Sherry a heating pad. 
So this is just like a stereotypical one you would see, it's kind of basic. Then I got wine to take tonight because I was telling you guys that when I drink like anything else, my stomach just like really hurts and then, yeah, I don't know, but I'm just gonna play it safe. Also, I love like just sipping on wine. It's just a vibe for me. We got some tomatoes and shortbread cookies because I take these for lunch, they're so good. Sherry, say hi to the vlog. You're on camera. Hi. Uh, how's your sandwich? Oh, you're heating it up. Okay, next up, I got some cheese puffs because our teacher was snacking on some of these, like one of our teachers. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then, I don't know, I just had a feeling and I just needed to get some after what seeing that get? bag. Cheese puffs. No, cheese puffs. <laughs> and that's why when they were handling these, they were so rough. Like, I don't know what was going on. And then we got Tostitos because they were on sale and Sherry wanted some um, chips and salsa today while she watches the Ohio State game. Also too, I've still been enjoying oh, snacking oh. on those. And then last but not least, I got some eggs because these are always a necessity. Lunch is served. Sherry had her sandwich. She did. Her back's a little better, if you guys were wondering. Anyway, I'm gonna chow down now. Okay, so I'm going to get ready now and I'm gonna put on the costume because I don't wanna do like hair and makeup and then, you know, have to put on the clothes. Let's see how itchy this is. Okay, so the reviews were saying this is super itchy and I don't really think it's that itchy. It, it's not very smooth like on the borders here, but underneath like my stomach and stuff, it's not itchy. So I'll link the shirt down below. If you guys want to shop, it's from Amazon. It was like $12. That's part of the reason why I got this outfit <laughs> because I only needed like a top and then the hat. So yeah, no, I don't think this is bad at all. It's pretty comfortable. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put heat protectant in my hair because I don't want to burn it off while curling it because I am gonna curl it today just for fun because, just because I want to. I just use the Orbe heat protectant. This is on my Amazon store, so I'll leave that in the description box as well. But I'm just putting this on first so it can kind of like just settle in my hair. So starting off, I always start with my eyebrows because they are the hardest thing to do and I take a long time on them. So I'm just going to start off by combing out my eyebrows. I haven't gotten my eyebrows like waxed or anything in so long um, just because it's not like it's too expensive, but you know what? I can just follow the line and pluck where need be, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I know each eyebrow is like a different shape because whenever I got my eyebrows done, um, the lady would say that and I'm like, okay, sorry, I can't really help that. Oh my gosh, am I already out of this? Wow. I guess I'll need to like get another one. Shoot, I guess I'm all out of this. Okay, well that's awkward. Hopefully I have enough for uh, doing my eyebrows today. Okay, so I think the eyebrows turned out okay. Basically what I do is try my best and then use my finger to like shape it to the way I want it. Um, and I've learned that this is all out. So I'm going to need to get a new one of these. Hopefully I can just order it online, but I think the eyebrows are okay. And um, I always touch them up though during like when I'm almost done. So um, hopefully I have enough product to like do that. Now I'm going to do concealer. And the concealer I use is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I probably could use a little darker shade of this because I've like tanned and stuff. But for now, I don't wanna be like, I barely wear makeup anyway, so that's why I will just wait until I run out of it. I'm almost out of foundation, which is crazy. I'll probably order that when I get my new eyebrow pencil. I will say like my face makeup takes the longest for me and I don't know why. I think it's just because number one, the padding motion is kind of like fun to do, not gonna lie. Um, and then also making sure it's like all blended and stuff. Probably my favorite part too, cause like I like making my skin more flawless, like with no blemishes, you know what I mean? Oh, let me tell you the story about how I got this bruise in the scrape because it is the funniest thing. Okay, so um, as you guys know, I park in a parking garage at school 
because we have to park on the fifth floor. There are some people that don't park on the fifth floor and they made a big deal about like, oh, your car is gonna get towed. And uh, like, I know someone whose car has gotten towed before just like in my neighborhood. And like, you do not wanna get your car towed because it is like just a pain in the ass to like get it back. So <laughs> I don't recommend getting your car towed by anyone by for any reason. So anyway, okay, quickly, I'm moving on to foundation. This is the NARS. Radiant long wear some version of those words together. So I'm just gonna put this on Okay, so parking garage uh, park on the fifth floor and I always park like next to the elevator because I'm all about getting the good parking because I just always have been so I park right next to the elevator and get out. Basically, I always have like a lot of stuff in my hands, either my computer, my Stanley cup, that's like right here. Again, I harp on this all the time, but best money I have ever spent. I love my Stanley cup. I'm holding that, I'm holding my lunch, I'm holding my purse. And it's like so funny because I don't look down because I have all this stuff in my hands, so I don't really pay attention. And there is a yellow line there, so like, Probably people have like fallen a lot. So I don't look and I take a step and I come crashing down. Guys, like I fell, like I haven't fallen like that in my life in a very long time. And I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, did that just really happen to me? So I try to fall gracefully down because number one, I didn't want to dent my cup, which it already has some dings already, which kind of makes me mad, but I didn't want to dent my cup and I didn't want to break my computer either because my computer was in my backpack, I think. So I gracefully, I tried to fall as gracefully as possible onto the floor, like making sure I was the one that like took a tumble and nothing else got damaged. And that's how I ended up with the scrape. And I get up from falling and I look around quickly because I'm always like one of the first people there because as you guys know I have like anxiety of like getting places quickly enough so I stand up and I like look all around I'm like oh my god did someone see that happen because it was so embarrassing and luckily no one did so um I told the story to a few classmates and they thought it was hilarious and I'm like yep I completely fell. I wouldn't say on my face cause it wasn't on my face, but like I fell, fell pretty hard there. Okay, so now I'm going to do blush. And you guys know I use the Liquid Rare Beauty blush. I really like this one because it's super pigmented and lighter, I don't know. I just like it. It works well, it blends well too. So I guess I'll talk to you guys about like the program and stuff. So, so far I really like it. Um, we learned how to scrub, which was like super cool. And the things that I forget, well, I've only scrubbed like three times in my life so far. So um, it's not like I always forget this, but like the things that in the past that I have forgotten was doing the fingertips. Cause I immediately want to start just like scrubbing, like pretend this is the scrub thing, like going back and forth like this. And you have to do it on each plane of your finger. So like there's four, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So when you do that, you have to do, you have to scrub back and forth 10 times on each finger. And I kind of want to start off with that. Um, so I remember to do, use the nail picker and like wet my hands and stuff. But after that, I immediately want to start like scrubbing my fingers. But before that, you have to scrub your fingertips. So again, pretend this is the uh, uh, scrub brush. You have to like, with the bristles, like scrub your your fingertips and I always forget to do that. And then the other thing I forget to do is um, flip the scrub brush. So pretend this is the bristle and then pretend this is the actual sponge part. The bristles are like for your fingers and palm and um, top of your hand. But then the sponge part is for the forearm and then above two inches above the elbow. So I always forget to do that. Those are the two things that I need to like remember. So I'm gonna remember that is like fingertips first before anything else. And I think that'll be like helpful. Okay, next I'm going to do powder. And overall, this is the trend, this is the Laura Mercier 
translucent powder. I think my least favorite part of the program so far is like the book work. Cause we have like these workbooks and I'm like, I don't know. I haven't like worked in a workbook like that in so long. There's the part too where we have to do like discussions with our classmates and that's like super simple. So I don't know why some people like just don't do it. Cause like that's an easy 100 and I'm all about like easy 100s because if you like fuck up on a test, then like those could really help you in the end. Do you know what I mean? Like you never know if you're going to have a bad day and like not do well on a quiz or pop test, pop quiz or test. So it's good to have, you know, the, the easy 100s to like help balance your grade and stuff. We're learning like prefixes and suffixes to words. So like carcinoma. So like carcin means cancer and oma means tumor. So it's a tumor's cancer. It's a cancerous tumor, I should say. So like things like that. And I find that so interesting. Like I know it's not gonna be a walk in the park. Like I know it's gonna be like pretty hard and difficult, but I think it's cool. I mean, at least it's like interesting to me. Unlike another subject, I could learn, you know, like unit circles and like formulas for math problems. But like, even though I could learn that, it's like boring. You know what I mean? Like to me, it's like not cool. But like when you say, oh, blah, 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 blah to me like I know that you're taking something out I don't know to me I'm like at least you know it's hard and it's gonna be um treacherous to like get through at least it's interesting <laughs> and now I have powder everywhere it's been forever since I've done my makeup so I'm like rusty on this like what do I do next people I try to put this over the red lipstick because I think it might like look cool glossy bronzer i hate bronzer to be honest i don't know why i'd use it i need to get a refill on this too because i've hit the pan on it i think i just use bronzer because it's like what everyone else does but honestly it is so hard to blend and stuff i don't know i just don't see the purpose in this so i'm not going to do a lot of this to be honest and then my mom always says you have a line on your face and i'm like you know what i don't know what's going on here but we're trying okay you can barely tell it's there but it works. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna touch up my eyebrows because this is the part where like I would normally do my eyebrows, but since they're so hard and stuff, I just do them first. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna touch up whatever needs to be touched up over here. Okay, so I've touched them up and everything. And now I'm going to use my Anastasia brow gel. And I just use this to brush up my eyebrows because that's what other people do, so. Okay, I think they're they're okay. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury little palette and just do my um, normal look pretty much. But I'm just gonna make it a little bit more dramatic cause why not? Just gonna start out with the darkest shade on the outer corners and then work my way in and make it like lighter because that looks the best on my eye shape. It has been forever since I've like actually done makeup too. Yeah, there's no way I could wear makeup like every day, like daily. I mean, no, make, I, that's a lie. Like I could, it'd just be like hard. And frankly, I don't like waking up earlier than I have to, to do makeup. It's just not worth it to do. Especially if like, you know, you're not really trying to like impress anyone. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm sleeping in. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting up earlier to do like makeup looks. And frankly, like these days I just do makeup for myself. Like if I want to do it. Okay, I took this like wing out a little too far. So I'm just gonna like erase, erase. I use this thing as an eraser too. And my camera battery's gonna die, so hopefully it doesn't soon. I'm just gonna turn off the camera and I'll be back when I'm done with the eyes. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. I don't know how this is coming out on camera, but it looks fine in person. This is just like setting spray, so nothing crazy. It's the Morphe setting spray. Okay, now it is time for hair and I'm just gonna do curls because I wanna do kind of like the pigtail thing. Or maybe, maybe I won't do pigtails because I did that for my former boss's birthday party like with the sailor hat and I thought it was like super cute. I don't know, I might do that, I might not, but I know I wanna curl my hair, but I only have a few minutes. I wanted to leave it around like 3.30, but I'll probably be leaving a little bit after 3.30, but it's fine. So I'm going to wait till this thing heats up. 
and then I'm just gonna like try to curl it as fast as possible. And I left out the makeup that I need to like replace. So this obviously, the Lula bronzer, and then uh, my foundation I'm running a little low on. Okay, so the hair is done and I'm gonna run my fingers through it in just a little bit, but I still don't know if I'm gonna do pigtails or no pigtails. So I'm gonna put the hat on and see. This is with the hat. I think it's so cute and honestly, I kind of don't want to do pigtails. Ooh, I don't know. I like the hair out. I think it's cuter like this. But let me put the pigtails in and see. Okay, I honestly don't know why I just didn't set up the camera like this. It's a more like head-on vibe going on instead of like the other way around. I don't know. I have the tripod like sitting up against and the camera is now leaning against the mirror. So that would have been a lot better. So I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna run through my hair. Guys, you don't understand how much I love curling my hair. I love the way it looks. It has a lot more volume and everything it's just it takes it doesn't even take a long time but it just takes time so i almost never curl my hair anymore so let's put the pigtails in so here's one i already know i'm gonna like my hair just like down rather than having them in pigtails it was cute for the sailor thing but i don't know about mario <laughs> yeah no i definitely like my hair out like i already can tell so it's coming out. The pigtails were a good idea, but right when they went in, I was like, no. Also too, I used the straightener to curl my hair when I was gonna do the pigtails and it's the pigtails just flatten out this entire look. So yeah, I know I, I want my hair like this because this is a cute look. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I Okay guys, like I will do the lipstick because I kind of want to see what it'll look like. The final look. Let me put this away. Okay, so this is the final look. I love the way it turned out. And just wearing my white shoes. So this is the final look and I love the way it turned out. I was a little nervous about like the makeup because I haven't done my makeup, like I said, in so long. So. This is what she's looking like and I'm ready to go to the party and hopefully we'll get some cute pictures. I'm gonna take a picture for my Instagram and stuff. I'm gonna take a picture here or whatever uh, for my, my Instagram story. All right, so at my friend's house and this is her fat cat, Oz. Then they have this little pug. He's a pug and oh my gosh, poor guy. This is quality content, yes. So I'm at my friend's party and I want to show you Angie's costume. You probably like know her from Cycle Bar. That's her boyfriend Tanner. Tanner, <laughs> say hi. Yes, from Friends. Yeah, cute, cute. Okay, so I'm home now and it is currently 11.37 and I am just going to take off my makeup because I don't like sleeping with makeup on. The party was really fun. People didn't start arriving until like eight-ish, I guess. Kind of just like chilling out and everything. And I met one of my friends, like friends, brothers. I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyway, <laughs> um, he was cool. He was from Boston and it was so funny because like he had like a Boston accent. If you guys don't know what a Boston accent, it's like Boston. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it was like funny because like he had a slight Boston accent and stuff. And I've been to Boston like once, so I could relate like a little bit to him, like asking him about like a certain restaurant and like the duck tours you can go on. So I thought that was like kind of funny. Um, he knew exactly what I was talking about, so it was funny and it was kind of cool. And my friend has our first like official ride, like on a Wednesday. So that's really exciting. I wish I could go, but like I made plans with one of my other friends for dinner and they're like oh you should just reschedule I'm like oh my gosh I don't know guys I'm excited for her she's gonna do great 
we also play this game called Cheers to the Governor. You guys have probably heard it and you will alert me in the comments of like how much you love it or how much you hate it. I like it but not with like so many people because if you don't know how to play like it's hard and especially if you have like short-term memory like half the time I do. You'll forget things so like a number five like take a shot. Bro, I'm not gonna remember that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We were joking around saying, like, we can't remember. So, that game didn't really last too long. I think it was pretty fun. The skills of remembering and stuff are just not it for me right now, especially when I have to remember, like, so much other stuff. Yeah, I'm um, just gonna wash my face off. Well, I'm, like, getting all the makeup off now, but I'm gonna wash my face because I don't like having whatever chemicals are in this facial wipe on my face so I wash my face after and I'm gonna go to bed. So this is a good five minute clip that I've just been rambling and I hope you guys enjoyed it because I'm just telling you about the night. Sorry I didn't vlog a lot. It's just like half of the people like I don't think probably wanted to be on camera but I included Angie because I know she doesn't mind being on camera. <laughs> I'm like girl like be in my vlog and she was like okay and her boyfriend as well was like in there and I'm like okay cool content quality content right there so all right happy sunday sherry is doing a lot better doing much i better. am over here doing schoolwork as you guys can see so this is my sunday morning which is fine because it's pretty chill just doing vocab words i haven't written vocab words like this in so long so that's what we're doing right now Okay, so back in the bathroom, I was ordering some products on Sephora. So I found, so I found these three products and I added them to my basket and bro, this is like $106. That is so crazy, but it's fine. I've had this stuff for a while. Um, I still have a little bit more left in here, so I'm going to finish up that, but might as well just have some, you know, just in case. And then this is totally out, and then this I hit pan on. I've had this since 2016, so don't judge me, but I've had that for a long time. So I'm going to place my order now. We were also supposed to sit on my bed today, but I don't think that's going to happen because, like, Valerie's grading papers and stuff. And now I'm just going to relax, and when she's cooking dinner... I'm going to edit a video, but I did school as you guys saw earlier today, and now I kind of just want to relax to be honest. So, gonna order this stuff and chillax because I'm so good at doing that. Okay, so I got a package. Obviously, it's from Amazon, and I wanted to show you guys because it is my new scrub cap, my shampoo. This is the Orbe Gold Lust Repair. So, that's gonna go up to my bathroom. And I got a new scrub cap. Look at how cute this one is. It's corgis. Oh my gosh, wait, I got two. Was I supposed to get two? Cool. Okay, so basically, yeah. Okay, so this goes on like this. And then like you can tuck your hair in and stuff and then tie it to like make it tighter and stuff. So that's cool and it has this little like sweatband. But yeah, got a cute little corgi hat. Valerie's making dinner. We're having shake and bake chicken tonight. Got a good deal on the chicken. Unbelievable It's always deal. exciting. I know. Okay, so I didn't end up editing a video tonight, but I can do that tomorrow. So it's fine. And it's not like that of an intense edit because it's just like to get ready with me. So I just like speed up clips and then like leave the parts where I'm talking. So it's not too bad. Um, but dinner is almost ready so i'll show you guys first off i'll just show you guys the corn this is my corn it's the yellow corn i do like the yellow then i'll show you guys we got some green beans going on over here we just keep the foil on it to like keep it warm while like the other stuff is like coming out and everything and then i'll show you guys the and i'll show you guys the chicken when it comes out and here are my chicken legs they are beautiful Thank you. 